so hello guys welcome back to the channel and uh, it has been one month exactly one month since i purchased this airtel 5g router um it has served me quite well i've never lost the signal and uh this video i want to extend the internet or the wi-fi range so i'm going to use a second uh, router that's the tender router and i'm going to get my internet from the airtel 5g main router so to do this i'll have to use uh, i'll use um an ethernet cable so i'll connect uh, my two routers using an ethernet cable okay so all you need is um tender the the router itself might be tender or tp link or any other router and an ethernet cable so um, stick around and uh, let's let us do it so to start i will connect one end of the ethernet cable to one of these yellow ports and the other side of the ethernet cable to my laptop on the ethernet port and then of course the the tender router will detect on itself and it will open on the computer or rather your laptop and i will select uh, dynamic ip change my wi-fi name I just give it any name and my password and click OK. You can decide to save your password to Google or now. I'll just click not now. Then uh, I'll click go to the current login to set the login password for the router. I'll click go to settings and here I'll just put any password. I'll just put the same password as Wi Fi. Repeat your password again. Yeah, let's scroll and go direct and click OK. After saving your password, your router password, login password, the router will uh, reboot and restart. You enter your password once again, click login. So you can see here your one port is not connected to it. So I can go right here to my wireless setting to confirm. You can see this is my wireless setting and uh, everything is in control. So I can go to the advanced tab, uh, okay, or rather the, the administration tab. And uh, I'll make sure my DC, DHCP server is on because I want to control the second router on itself and I won't disable this. So I'll just click OK. Okay, and uh, everything is okay right now. I just have to connect the, the Ethernet cable to the main router for it to be for it to be connected. So let's connect it to the main router. So after connecting to one of these Ethernet port of the main router, uh, make sure your other end is connected to the one port just make sure you are connected to to this one port so you remove your ethernet cable and place it on your one port for 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 the router to access internet so if uh, it's printing late here so you just know the 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 internet is connected and uh, let's go right to our laptop and test it so i'll just uh, click on this wi-fi icon right here and uh, connect to wi-fi keep it on and click that and i connect to my to our wi-fi our store you can see it's connected you can see so let's open our browser and you can just google anything maybe the speed test let's see our speed test for the internet click start and you can see we have good internet and uh, thank you guys for the, for, for the video and uh, if you like the video please subscribe and you can also connect using uh, this 
and the second ethernet cable i can just connect to my router to one of the three ports let me connect to to lan one i've connected to lan one and uh, you can see uh, i'm online and you can see i'm online too on my laptop so thank you guys